Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Pepperidge Farm Swirl. This is brown sugar cinnamon. This is French toast. And this is lemon blueberry. Now, these two both say thick slice. Uh, this says thick slice too. Okay, I'm seeing that here. So they've just taken it from here and they put it here, but it does say thick slice. Okay, that's what I was looking for. These were $3.89 each at Meyer. And what we are going to do, we're going to try this. Um, we're going to try it toasted and untoasted to see uh, which way we like the flavor more. So it comes in a loaf um, like this. I've honestly never opened one of these in my life. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have done reviews of these. They're very old reviews. Um, let's have some scissors. They're very old reviews on the channel. So, I'll save this one for the one that we just eat plain. And then we're going to toast this one. It smells really good. It yeah, is thick. thick yeah. Wow. That looks like you could dip it um, and uh, fry it. You could probably. Um, yeah, because it's so thick. Okay. And then we have the French toast. Let's see what each one of these looks like. I don't think you should do the heel for the non-toasted. You don't? No, because it's not as thick. Oh. Oh, it's not. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll do Plus, I don't like the heel penny. Kevin doesn't, <laughs> yes, now that came right open. Kevin doesn't like the heel. I do. That's the piece you take out and pull away. Yeah, I love, ooh, the gosh, that smells good. There's that one. I'm going to go ahead and get these started. Okay. What do you have for your toaster on? Like, just regular, what, like a two. Mm -hmm. Just what like I have regular for toast. Regular toast, yeah. Okay, so that's that one. That smells so good. And then the lemon blueberry. We've tried, what, strawberry on the channel? I can't remember. Oh, we've done pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. And then there was one more that we had done with the pumpkin. Uh, cinnamon? Cinnamon roll or something, maybe? Some of these are easier to... That one was real easy to open. I'm just going to cut it. There we go. I wonder why they have these in that bag, um, whereas regular bread is just in this. You know, why put it in this additional Is it bag? Sticky? Um, no, I, doesn't seem not sticky. really. So I don't know. I don't know why they don't just put it in there. So what I'm going to do when those two come out of the toaster, I'm going to put this one in, and then we're going to take them to the table. We're going to talk about them, and we're going to give all three of them a try. Okay, well, I tell you what, we have a variety of smells going on, <laughs> and I'll just tell you, we're going to be trying the lemon blueberry last. But it is a extremely strong lemon. Mm -hmm. It smells like a cleaner lemon. So I'm hoping that it's one of those things that smells a lot stronger than it tastes. Because I hope it doesn't taste like that. Because it, it to me, it does not smell. Not appetizing. No, it does not smell pleasant to eat. So because it's so strong. Try. We're going to try that. We're going to try uh, heat it or heat it? Do toast it first. Or toast it and toast it. Um... So this is brown sugar cinnamon. It says no high fructose corn syrup. It's a 16 ounce, one pound, 454 gram bag. Um, I watched this girl on, um, she's a woman. I call her by a girl. Um, a woman, uh, she's living in Japan. She will buy a loaf of bread. It's fascinating to me. She will buy a loaf of bread and it's literally the whole loaf is four pieces. Each, but they're like those thick. Oh my gosh. They're the biggest pieces of bread I've they're ever seen in my this. life. Oh my gosh. It's like They're bigger than Texas toast. Um so it says, um every slice of our golden baked bread has the aroma and delicious taste of sweet brown sugar and cinnamon swirled right in. Visit pepperagefarm.com for recipe ideas. One slice, 38 grams is 110 calories. Okay, so no, brown sugar. That's just what's left of mine. I mean, you could eat that's fine. Whatever. Oh, should I get mine? No, it's just more stuff at the top. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, I left the part that didn't have as much stuff. I do have to say, when she's making her, when she buys it, 
She's usually frying some of it in the pan or something. She's not like eating a sandwich. No, no, it's more for toasting. Something. I wonder if they have other bread for her sandwiches. Could be. Maybe they don't have sandwiches at all. It is in a different country. Did yeah. you say that? Uh huh. Japan. Yeah. That I like the crunch on that, and I like the texture of it. It's kind of has a little bit of a chewiness to it. It's got some something there to where you actually feel like you're eating it. Something. Honestly, it tastes more like raisin to me than I, it does I brown sugar. Yeah, I get more of a raisiny kind of flavor. So well. that was toasted. I want to see which way we like it better. I like the texture of it toasted. Mm -hmm. It's chewier when it's straight out of the package. Oh, it's just like raw bread. I mean, it's just, I think there's a little more flavor of that cinnamon coming through. Not much. Honestly, it's pretty light. Mm -hmm. Either way you do. Um, this is good. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with it. My question is, I don't understand why you would buy this. When you can make your own brown uh, cinnamon sugar toast? When you can make your own cinnamon toast. Yeah. Because cinnamon toast is like so cheap and easy to make. That's something you teach your eight-year-old to make. And honestly, <laughs> it tastes better because I get more um, cinnamon sugar and I put butter. Mm -hmm. um, that's all it is, is you take a, if you're wondering, take a piece of bread and put butter on it and then just take the sprinkle uh, cinnamon on it just very lightly tap it out and then take a whole spoonful or two or how much, much sugar you want and put the sugar on top and it gets and you then you bake it in the, your oven or toaster oven so and it gets this nice little bubbly crust on it phenomenal really this a, does not have that no it's just a real life. So why would, I don't know why you would choose this unless oh. you're doing quick and dirty. You know, I'd just rather take my time and uh, make it. But it's so light in flavor. I don't know what advantage you're getting from that. No. You're paying that much more money. You're paying $3.89. And you're getting up quite a bit of calories. Yeah. For not a lot of flavor. Yeah. I, w I mean, there's nothing wrong with it no. other than it just doesn't have the flavor that my own does. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't pick it. Um... And you know what? It's called brown sugar cinnamon. I know. I didn't really get a sweet We've been, so I've always used white real sugar. Rare table, yes. Real but uh, now, confectionery sugar. Um, just regular just white, white sugar. sugar. Granulated but, sugar. But now, when we were on vacation last year, Ashley brought some brown sugar to the table for something, and she used brown sugar. Well, that's what I should have been making mine with, mm -hmm. uh, was brown sugar all really these good. years. Okay, so now this is the French toast. And it says uh, it tastes of warm maple syrup and cinnamon. And it is 100 calories a slice. Which way did you like that better? Texture-wise, I like it toasted. Okay. But flavor-wise, it does have a little bit more flavor on toasted. I would pick a toasted. Yeah, it's just better way. texture. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the flavors, there's a little bit more flavor in, in it when it's mm -hmm. toasted. I would not think that was anything beyond just bread. It might have a slight something in there, but it's... I think it has a slight it's maple. It's so light that it's like, what am I eating? I don't get the cinnamon, and normally I'm really good at picking up cinnamon. Um, hmm. And I'm not getting the cinnamon, but I'm getting a touch of maple. I'm trying to make sure I get these little blobs mm -hmm. and stuff, too. Yeah. And even directly eating those little blobs. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why we don't buy this bread. Mm -hmm. Now, you feel that way about this bread. They have flavors of like English muffins and stuff like that. Or, you, I think I've tried, I've tried a bunch of those. They're all the same. It's the same. The Thomas's bread maybe? Yeah, they just don't have any flavor. Yeah, that's why we don't They don't have as enough flavor for me. If I'm going to eat something that has a flavor to it, I want like strong flavor. That is like... It's only slightly different than just toast or just bread. It is very, very, very slightly maple. I get absolutely no cinnamon. No. Um, I like it. Honestly, I like that both ways. Um, I really do like the edge pieces that are untoasted. Yeah. Um, they're not, they got a nice chew to them. I think all of these would be good with butter. 
Uh, um, which was going to cut the flavor even more. <laughs> exactly. You're going to taste the butter if you buy good quality you're not, butter. You're not going to taste the, um, the flavoring at all. Again, I have to ask the question. I, I don't. I just don't understand why you yeah, would buy that. Yeah, make French toast or, or uh, toast some bread and put some butter on it and put some maple syrup. And I mean, you just could, I just, it would have more flavor. I don't understand. It, to make this anywhere near French toast, you'd have to take this that, that piece of bread and dip it in, in uh, syrup. It just hardly has anything. Yeah, I mean, now, this is the scary one because of the smell. Lemon blueberry. And it is 100 calories uh, for a slice. It says, delicious taste of lemon and blueberry flavor swirled right in. Okay. Mm. You keep wanting to eat more, hoping for more. I do get the lemon for that one, though, for sure. Yes. Oh, yeah. You do get lemon. But um, I'm going to reserve judgment. I won't. It's kind of like a lemon juice. Lemon. Like the concentrated little lemons you buy at the store in the oh, produce Oh, see, section. I don't think it's that good. I, I, don't, mean, I don't like it. I think it tastes like a That concentrated lemon. lemon is like um, very, very super, super strong. I'm only used to having that in a recipe. Yeah. Uh, that, sm that taste is like it smells, which yeah. I don't like. Very artificial. And I did solve the question I had at the beginning of the video. I said, why is it double bagged? It says, double wrapped for freshness. Oh, no, there you go. Well, then why why don't they care about the bread like that? Uh, this I buy a different brand of bread. Maybe okay. there's sugar and stuff, though. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, have they, like, tested it and they saw, they must have tested it and saying longer. that it lasted longer. Um, and, by the way, I did not get any blueberry flavor from No, that. no blueberry whatsoever in the, in the taste of it. You can see it. These little purpley dots mm -hmm. in here. But you don't taste it. Now, this, I just did taste it. But it's very light. Mm-hmm. You'd be better off buying a blueberry muffin or a lemon blueberry muffin or whatever. I... Don't like the lemon at all. Yeah, I don't really care for the lemon. Whatsoever. Kind of a raw mm -hmm. chemical like lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost acidic. It's just um It's not very good. It's uh yeah, it's over the top lemon. Uh it, I mean they had to do that to make any kind of flavor at all, I guess, because the other ones don't really have anything. Right. That's yes. The other thing I I just yeah, this in the, the blueberry, I think you're gonna be very disappointed. Uh, I got yeah, a slight were, blueberry flavor. If you're expecting a really bold flavor, I even have a little, a little bit of t burn in the back of my throat. Oh, uh, no, I, uh, I mean, in the pocket of my mouth. Um, Where you were chewing. Yes, lemon. we're for that lemon. I did, the lemon is just, it's it's not my kind of lemon at all. For me, it's just so light that it really doesn't matter one way or the other. I, I can just, I can taste it, and it's mm -hmm. there, and it's not. I don't like it, but it's not so strong. It's where I couldn't live with it. But why would I? Why would I buy this if I can't really right taste it? You know, it's kind. I'm of, only assuming. I can only assume that when people buy these, they're jazzing them up. Putting other stuff on them. You have to be adding something to it to make it to, I mean, why would you want to eat Unless it? you just want a very lightly flavored bread. <laughs> very, very lightly flavored. Yeah. yeah, I just, I don't, I don't see the purpose of buying these. Mm. Sorry to Pepperidge Farm because I, I, you know, they have good cookies. Uh, but I just don't see the point of this bread Well, and the at all. calories are what, 110 per slice? That's about probably regular bread calories, isn't it? I don't know because I don't eat regular, uh, we don't bread. Eat regular bread. I eat 35 calorie bread. So, I, I, yeah, I don't eat regular bread at all. That's why. 35 thinking, versus 100. I'm well, I'm thinking of two slices of regular bread is like 110, 120. Oh, okay. So I, don't, I don't, can't swear to that, but I'm thinking it is. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't if like I had to choose one, I would choose the brown sugar, sugar cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah, me too. But honestly, I would just pass on these unless you already buy them and you like them and, and you think they're great. I definitely would not buy this lemon blueberry because that lemon, unless you want a really harsh, almost cleaner lemon flavor and virtually no blueberry at all, then you that's those are the only people that are going to be satisfied with yeah, that. I, I just don't care about them, any of them, because they don't have any flavor. Yeah. No flavor whatsoever at all. Well, this had flavor. Yes, some. They're still very light. Flavor. They're still so light, though. Even if you're 
if you like that kind of lemon flavor, it's going to be so light. I still think you'll be disappointed. Oh, uh, see, not me. I don't think it was light at all. Oh, I think it was lemon. so light. I think it was overkill and cleaner. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.